Hello, hello, hello from Olsenator of Mockingbird Drive Hunt and uh, the reason I'm doing this video is just a, a bit of few subjects I want to talk about. Uh, Sally is still too cold to work on the garage. Uh, beautiful day, the snow is slowly melting but it's still too cold and uh, so sadly the snow is slowly melting. Um, my backyard is still full of snow, my deck and everything. So. Uh, Last year we were already in the pool actually, uh, that's how different the year is uh, here in Ottawa. Each year is always different and uh, it's almost impossible to plan due to the weather. Because um, each year is always different. So this year uh, we're in April, we still have lots of snow on the ground so it's a uh, and last year we were already swimming in the pool and everything, so I just show you how each year is different. Uh, but I'm hoping since w spring is late, uh, I'm hoping to have a very warm, nice and dry October. But we'll see. We never know here. Uh, we had snow, we had Hurricane Sandy last year. Uh, Two years ago was a perfect Halloween that month, so uh, I'm hoping it'll be like this. But you never know, so that's why it's always hard to plan. And sadly, some of my hunt never goes as what I want to do uh, due to the weather. So, uh, anyways, uh, but what I just want to talk about is I'm getting ready, of course, to build. Uh, my I'm itching to build stuff, and of course, my garage. Uh, it's still a real mess, so I can't do anything. But I just want to show you a few uh, things that, for newbies especially, pr uh, material and stuff I use all the time, and a few tips about uh, doing a Halloween hunt. Uh, first, I just want to show you also something last year. I've been using my DS. To, uh, there's a cool program called uh, Colors in it. And uh, I used to teach for many years, so I stopped when I reached 30. And that was like almost 10 years ago. So uh, I've been, uh, there's a cool program called Colors, and uh, it's a good drawing program. And it kind of rekindled my love for drawings. And I've been drawing for the last, uh, I would say, two or three months now, uh, a horror comic. And I've been, again, I'm very rusted. I didn't draw for almost 10 years. So, uh, but last week, uh, I've been drawing this comic, still not finished, but I drew one page and I really love the drawing. I did, and I'll show it to you. And what I'm doing, I'm planning is I'm gonna use this, I think, for to do my logo of my Halloween hunt. So it's in 3D. I don't know if you can see the 3D on it or not, but. Uh Show you. So I'm planning at the bottom here put a uh, mockingbird drive haunt and uh, blow it up. So I'm planning to draw it by hand, uh, not on the DS and um, on pencil and such and do a big poster. Uh, so this I think will be my logo for my haunt and uh, so I'm very happy how the drawing uh, came out and again it was doodling, drawing a page for my comic book and this came out. So uh, I'll probably start working on this probably next week or later this week. Uh, so I know I just want to show you a few things that, uh, especially for newbies who's planning to start building stuff or already starting to build stuff in uh, hopefully hotter, warmer weather that we have. So first thing of course is uh, uh, galvanizing chicken wire fence. Uh, these. I'm glad I'm finding the last few years they started selling them during springtime at dollar at dollar stores. So this is two dollar fifty for eh, how many years? Or one point eight meter. So uh, and so it's pretty good. I always buy a few of these. These are were two dollars this year or two dollar fifty. Uh, I bought like five of those and I only end up using a few of these uh, last year. So I still have some um, extra. I did buy two extra again this year just in case. These are perfect to build uh, bodies obviously because again as you can see uh, the shape of bodies, sculptures. Uh, if you're planning to do uh, use monster mud, uh, I'm not, it's too messy, it's too heavy. Uh, but these are really good to build bodies. Uh, I'm using actually some part of it to finish my big pyramid head body. 
and uh, so chicken wire is a very good uh, source the other thing I use all the time is gardening fabric uh, this I, this is a special one I bought last year it was a Walmart I paid 20 bucks for it and uh, already used like five yard of it uh, five meter I'm sorry uh, and uh, what it is, as you can see, one side is very plasticky feel to it, and the other side is more like a fibrous gray. And uh, I love this one actually. Um, never saw it before, so that was a new product at Walmart I found. Pay twenty bucks, and it's as you can see, it's huge. And uh, so this is perfect to build walls, bodies, sculptures. Uh, well, not sculpture, but wrapping over sculptures, making costumes, reapers. Uh, I love, I use so much this fabric on so many objects. Well, again, in the past I, I still have some in the garage, but it's the uh, completely black, you can see a bit tree. So this one is actually a much better, stronger quality uh, product. So, and uh, of course uh, you can use lots of styrofoam, wood, uh, so these are tips that you use stuff material that you can use very cheaply uh, the cost is very cheap and uh, you can build lots of stuff with those that's uh, something I really want people to understand when they're doing their hunt uh, you don't need to spend lots of money again to build bodies props. another thing also I use a lot is tomato cage uh, I use uh, wire cutters you can spread them out, build bodies again with those, and to uh, hold them I just use tent pegs. Again, usually I get them at the uh, camping ground like I paid, what, true bucks for uh, 20 metal pegs, and that's how I use uh, my tomato cage, stand them up. I crisscross them like this and make it four to five feet tall uh, and put a head, like I'm planning to build more bodies this year, obviously, for my haunt and stuff, so uh, you'll see in the future me building props from zero and I'll show you exactly the techniques I'm using. Next thing, uh, next quick, uh, just a little quick subject I want to talk about is lighting. Uh, lighting is extremely important uh, for me. Uh, obviously I use lots of uh, regular spotlights and uh, one, but one problem I always see is uh, you'll have dead spots, meaning uh, you don't have enough uh, extension or there's no electricity so what I use <coughs> sorry is these you can find them uh, sometime during Christmas time or so these are solar lights and these are colored solar lights usually you get them for 20 bucks for two so run red one green I usually get them on special so I bought a few of these and uh, they're very good right now they're, they're dead because they've been in the garage for since October so I do need to charge them, them up and they last I, I did test them they last about eight hours or even more actually because one night I just them let them I went plugged it I turned them on went to bed in the morning they were still going on so the charge is actually pretty good and uh, so these are perfect and spot where you have no electricity the other thing I use a lot actually is also these uh, oh my god uh, I forgot the name strobe lights some are colored I love the colored one I have a few two greens one and I found a red one and some actually has sound this one has sound you don't need it but it's always fun, cool and this one actually have a sensor on it uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works the sensor <laughs> and uh, I have lots of these and to be honest I never had time to use them uh, so this year I really want to plan to use. I used a few last year but very uh, quickly and to be honest I forgot to turn them on <laughs> on the Halloween nights. So, uh, that's what happened when you got 50,000 things to do. So that's why. Uh, so these are good things I recommend to use uh, for that spot. And my last item I want to mention is a timer. Uh, you plug these. These are very, I use them a lot. I love these. You put your time, you cr uh, you program it, it's quite easy to do. I usually put them 6 to 10 o'clock. Um, if you if you want to harass your neighbors, uh, put it until 3 o'clock in the morning so uh, nobody in the neighborhood will go sleep without uh, having your wonderful spotlights uh, on and your props going off in the middle of the night. 
but usually uh, I love these I have uh, quite a few different version of this and uh, this is one and also uh, there's a light indicator on this one which is even cooler that you programmed it when the lights goes down poop, and again you tell it uh, when it goes uh, goes off so uh, that's it for this video and uh, I am planning to do maybe a, a video in the near future about uh, my pro hunt from last year uh, day in and out and the few pictures I have the few videos and uh, but that's another subject to talk about in the future so that's it for now I uh, hope you like this and uh, again hopefully the weather will get better because I'm itching to build some props on my own so uh, see you soon uh, goodbye from Osanator from Mockingbird Drive Hunt bye bye